So just after I made my video yesterday basically lambasting the horrible stimulus package deal that was passed through Congress and basically put on the desk of President Donald Trump, the president put a video out on Twitter that was about four minutes long announcing that he basically was against this COVID relief pandemic bill and that he thought that it was horrible for the American people. He wanted provisions to be made or revisions to be made to it. He expected changes to be made by Congress and he wanted a suitable bill to be put onto his desk. There's a lot of major changes that are expected to be made to the bill. So I wanted to make an update video talking about it because all of a sudden, all the, the government functions now. It's insane, right? It's insane how fast the government functions now that this is all going down. I've never seen anything like this, folks. It's incredible. So to give you guys a quick rundown of the original bill, okay? It was over 5,000 pages long, and it was passed so quickly, or I guess given out so quickly, that no member of Congress would have had the ability to fully read through this. So this bill was passed without being read by anyone on the floor, first and foremost, meaning that your representatives did not know fully what they were passing. They did not read through this bill at all. Billions of dollars were given to the Space Force, to a wall, a border wall with Mexico, to a military industrial complex project in Asia. Millions of dollars, or billions, I should say, of dollars in federal aid to countries such as Egypt, Sudan, Israel, along with many others. And I'm sure plenty of money probably was gone, was gone to, you know, banks and to massive corporations to bail them out yet again, because America has a habit of bailing out the massive corporations and the banks that mess up before they bail out the people that actually build up the backbone of the economy. And in fact, when they were, when it came time to help the average American out, where the average American is paying $1,400 in rent, they have basically spent the last nine months struggling through an economic crisis in our country. Americans, select Americans, were to be given $600, which is an insulting number. People were obviously very upset if they found out about this, and uh, President Trump made a Twitter video, which I'm going to play in its entirety. Because I don't want to mince any words, I want you to be able to see the full story, and uh, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you can skip through. But this is Trump's full statement on the COVID relief bill and the surrounding uh, topics, I guess. We'll be back. Throughout the summer, Democrats cruelly blocked COVID relief legislation in an effort to advance their extreme left-wing agenda and influence the election. Then, a few months ago, Congress started negotiations on a new package to get urgently needed help to the American people. It's taken forever. However, the bill they are now planning to send back to my desk is much different than anticipated. It really is a disgrace. For example, among the more than 5,000 pages in this bill, which nobody in Congress has read because of its length and complexity, it's called the COVID relief bill, but it has almost nothing to do with COVID. This bill contains $85.5 million for assistance to Cambodia, $134 million to Burma, $1.3 billion for Egypt and the Egyptian military, which will go out and buy almost exclusively Russian military equipment, $25 million for democracy and gender programs in Pakistan, $505 million to Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. $40 million for the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., which is not even open for business. $1 billion for the Smithsonian, and an additional $154 million for the National Gallery of Art. Likewise, these facilities are essentially not open. $7 million for reef fish management, $25 million to combat Asian carp, $2.5 million to count the number of amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico, a provision to promote the breeding of fish in federal hatcheries, $3 million in poultry production technology, $2 million to research the impact of down trees, $566 million for construction projects at the FBI. The bill also allows stimulus checks for the family members of illegal aliens, allowing them to get up to $1,800 each. This is far more 
than the Americans are given. Despite all of this wasteful spending and much more, the $900 billion package provides hardworking taxpayers with only $600 each in relief payments. And not enough money is given to small businesses, and in particular, restaurants, whose owners have suffered so grievously they were only given a deduction for others to use in business their restaurant for two years. This two-year period must be withdrawn, which will allow the owners to obtain financing and get their restaurants back in condition. Congress can terminate it at a much later date, but two years is not acceptable. It's not enough. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people who need it. It wasn't their fault. It was China's fault, not their fault. I am asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. I am also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items from this legislation and to send me a suitable bill, or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package, and maybe that administration will be me, and we will get it done. Thank you very much. So that was President Trump's full remarks about the entire thing. He put this out apparently against the wishes of select uh, White House members, staff members that tried to get him to not film this. At the end, obviously, you'll notice that he makes yet another remark about potentially being the next administration, even though he lost the election. And pretty much every procedure in place has put forward uh, Biden as president, including the Electoral College officially confirming him as the president-elect and the federal government releasing funds to start the presidential transition. One thing I would also like to point out is a few things that Trump actually pointed out in this bill that he wanted to be removed actually were things that he requested in his own funding bill. So some of the things he said should probably be taken with a grain of salt, but as you probably heard if you listen through, he requested $2,000 direct checks for Americans or up to $4,000 for couples in the United States, which would uh, qualify to adults earning up to $75,000 per year which is definitely a lot more than the $600 provided, actually nearly quadruple the amount that people were slated to get. Now, I think $2,000 is a lot better for Americans than $600. Considering rent payments, like I said, average at $1,400 a month, $2,000 is much better. And that's actually money that can go towards bills and towards food on the table and things like that. So I'm definitely glad to see that that has been requested and that money will hopefully be going towards stuff like that. Now, suddenly after this happened, the Democrats actually came out under their head of Nancy Pelosi and announced that they were basically completely okay with immediately moving forward with the $2,000 direct checks. And as of today, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said that they will try to pass the bill with unanimous Democratic consent after U.S. President Donald Trump said that the current $900 billion COVID-19 relief bill was a, quote, disgrace. He has now said he's not going to sign the proposed relief package, and he, of course, called on everything to be done that he has requested. And with Democrats now calling for the unanimous support, I guess, of this new bill and whatnot to pass on $2,000 to individuals in the United States, it now has put Republicans on the hot seat, making them basically... Uh, they're, they're now under immense pressure to sign this through. Republicans are now faced with the fact that they're... Their head, I guess, which is President Trump, who is a Republican, has now openly called for $2,000 checks, which now Democrats are agreeing with and are now unanimously supporting, basically. So now all of the Republican lawmakers either are faced with the fact of, we have to agree with the Democrats on this and pass this through, and we actually have to function as, you know, a United States government should, and we have to work together and actually work for the people and make things work. Or we have to betray the person that we have shown all this loyalty to, the tr you know, the Trump administration, and we're going to have to try and, you know, pass these provisions that we want once again. Now, I want you to notice how fucking easy it was for your government. And, 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 and of course, there was people telling me and telling you all along, oh, there's no way they could up it over 600. You're ungrateful. You know, $600 is enough. How are they going to up it? You think the government has money to pay for that? Notice how quickly the government, literally within 24 hours, was able to nearly quadruple the amount of money they were giving to Americans. 
Notice how fucking quickly that happened. There were people saying, oh, we can't afford this. The government can't afford to do this. We can't afford to up it any more than $600. But literally, the moment that Trump called for it, all of a sudden it was done, right? The, the government, you know, Congress and everybody wants to do it all of a sudden. Isn't that insane? How within a day, the Democrats were ready to uh, bring forth a bill on December 24th, Christmas Eve, to get this done? That's, that's bewildering how quickly the U.S. government can fucking function when it's supposed to. So can someone please explain to me uh, how, that was how we weren't supposed to be able to afford that, right? All the money we spend on stupid shit as a country, but we couldn't afford this. Yeah, okay. All that money going to foreign relief and shit for, for countries, you know, all the way across the planet, and we weren't even taking care of the people in our own country, that's fucking ridiculous. Now, something more worrisome I think people should realize is the fact that, like, 22% of all U.S. dollars have been printed this year, and there's pretty much nothing to back it, so what we're actually doing, right, is the Federal Reserve is just like a money printer go brr, you know that meme? Just brrrr, just printing out money, right? And if there's nothing to back it, when you just keep fucking printing money like that, what it does is it devalues all the rest of the money in circulation because you're introducing more and more money, right, that has that set value with nothing to back that up. So you're just fucking flooding the market with more and more of this cash that has nothing to back it. And that's what we've been doing this whole year to fight the pandemic and all this economic relief and stuff. We've already been doing this. The government's been doing this for years to fight, you know, the debt, and everything else. We've been doing this for so long, but now all of a sudden it's an issue, and we're doing this this year. We've been doing it all year, and that's probably how they're gonna pay for this, to keep it fair, but we've already fucked the US dollar. Like, the US dollar is already in trouble. We've already, we're, we're gonna deal with inflation as is. So I just wanted to make an update video and let you guys know what was going on. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubToptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, this is Optimus, guys. Waiting to see if you guys will get $2,000 and signing out.